Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve a DirectX fail to initialize. Please install the correct drivers for your video card. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best result should go back with device manager. So go ahead and lock on that to open it up. Double click on the display adapter section, and then whatever display adapter is listed under here, go ahead and right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers, and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whichever one is most applicable, so if there's a specific manufacturer one in here that corresponds to what's listed in here, I'd recommend going along with that one over a basic display adapter, I should say, and select the next. So once that's done, you can close out of here, restart your computer, see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try here would be to open up a web browser. We're going to open up Google Chrome for this tutorial. And you're going to search for DirectX download into Google. And you want to go to a Microsoft domain. This is download DirectX end user runtime web installer. So go ahead and open that up. versus select language, make sure it's the correct language here, and then select download. Give it a second here, and then once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up the executable file, and then select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. It's going to say welcome to setup for DirectX. You want to accept the agreement, and then select next. We're not going to install the Bing bar, so we're going to uncheck that, and then select next again. And once it's done, select finish and restart your computer. Once you've restarted your computer, you go back onto your web browser. And we're going to head back over to Google. And you're going to type in Visual C++ Redistributable. Search for it. Versus download Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Go ahead and open that up. Select the orange download button that corresponds to that. Select the correct version. If you're running a 64-bit operating system, you're going to select the 64-bit one. If you're running a 32-bit, you're going to select the times 86. And you're going to go ahead and select next. Go ahead and run this file. Agree to the license terms and conditions and select install. It was already installed, that's why it's not letting us do it, but otherwise you just would go ahead and restart your computer once it's done installing, and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.